EAA 304, Highway Engineering Laboratory. Skid Resistance Test. Welcome to Highway Engineering Laboratory. This video describes step by step procedures to conduct skid resistance test of road surfaces. The skid resistance test is conducted using BSE N13036 Part 4, 2011 Standard Test Method for Measurement of Slip or Skid Resistance of a Surface, the Pendulum Test. Objective To check the resistance of road surfaces to skidding under different conditions. The skid resistance test requires the following apparatus portable skid resistance tester thin ruler surface thermometer and brush the portable skid resistance tester acts like a pendulum swings from side to side during skid resistance test the term pendulum test is also used since a pendulum of a known mass rotates about a vertical spindle this test is usually conducted on a routine basis to assess the resistance of wet and dry surfaces, to slipping and skidding, both in the lab and on site. The head of the pendulum, is fitted with a standard rubber slider. When released from a horizontal position, the pendulum head strikes the surface with a constant velocity. The distance traveled by the pendulum after striking the sample, is determined by the friction resistance of the sample surface. The skid resistance values, which approximately correspond to the coefficient of friction times 100, are read directly from the clearly engraved scale. The skid resistance value, is intended to correlate with the performance of a vehicle having patterned tires, braking with locked wheels, on a wet road at 50 km per hour. The roughness of road surface macro texture, affects the skid resistance value. Procedure Set the base level by means of the spirit level and the three leveling screws on the base frame. The bubble level with a circular bullseye, to indicate a level condition when the bubble is centered in the eye. The leveling screws on the base frame, are to move the bubble to the center of the eye. Raise the head, so that the pendulum arm swings clear of the surface. Check the zero setting. This is done, by first raising the swinging arm to horizontal release position, on the right hand side of the apparatus. In this position, it is automatically locked in the released catch. The pointer is then brought to its stop in line with the pendulum arm. Mark the sliding length as the distance between the two points, where the sliding edge of the rubber touches the test surface. Adjust the height of the pendulum, by gently lowering the arm until the slider just touches the surface first on one side, and then on the other side of the vertical surface. Wet the road surface, ensuring that the road surface is free from loose grit. Wet the rubber slider too, before the test. Place pendulum arm in its release position. The apparatus is now set ready for test. Release the pendulum arm by pressing the button, and catch it on the return swing, before the slider strikes the road surface. Record the readings. Return the arm and pointer to the release position, keeping the slider clear of the road surface in this operation by means of the lifting handle. Repeat swings, spreading the water over the contact area with a hand or a brush between each swing. Record the mean of five successive readings, provided they do not differ by more than three units. Finally, record the distance where the pendulum is placed from the edge of the road shoulder. Measure the temperature of the road surface, where the test is being carried out. Thank you for your time.
If you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact us at sarg.usm2011 at gmail.com.